Well, let's see if I see if I say nine. Well, Matt Walsh, we all know Matt Walsh, the um, conservative, repressed, um, alt right, you know, known to be transphobic, homophobic, so forth. Um, social commentator, I guess he's. I don't know what really to categorize him as. Um, did a little video about Madonna because he needed attention apparently because that's what people who have no talent or creativity is nothing in interesting about them they comment on someone who is interesting to get attention so um, you know someone who isn't an artist isn't a creative person you know they have to attack people who are because they can't get attention without you know attacking other people so he's just doing that it's basic there's so little to say on his actual video because he says nothing new or interesting for a second I thought he might have he might have put some effort into it and came up with something creative or something that so looking at the situation at Madonna in some way that hasn't sort of already been um, said you know some attack or criticism that hasn't already been laid at her feet nothing it's just oh she's too old oh a woman that age shouldn't dress like that oh it's embarrassing oh she looks like roadkill oh that's it. It's like nothing. It's like, really? Like you had nothing new or interesting to say. You had nothing to justify making a video, but you just needed the attention that bad that you did it anyway. It's pathetic. It's sad. Um, it's I mean, at least um, people like, um, oh, who's that British guy who's always tacking Madonna? At least he's got some personalities, annoying enough to engage enough to be annoyed by him when you watch him. He's, he's got some character at least. And this guy is just boring and bland and he's just one of those sad little men who just can't handle anything outside of you know this conservative little world that he wants wants to try and maintain that he thinks exists and has since the 50s or something it just never existed and I just don't know what world this guy lives in but um it's just sad it's just sad and I was just sort of I saw the video and I'm like Ugh, do I comment on this and I wasn't going to, but I'm like, I think I need to defend Madonna. Um, now, I would criticise Madonna for the stupid shit she does, because she does stupid shit all the time. She's a reactionary artist, and, I mean, she needs something to rebel against, and just the fact that she's ageing and not stopping is enough for people to attack her for, so she doesn't really need to do anything to get the criticism and to get attacked and be a victim and react to that. But even when no one's attacking her, she'll just go out and sabotage yourself to do something to get attacked to be a victim to, to to react to it so either way there's always going to be her reacting to stuff but as i said as she gets older she doesn't need to sort of cause controversies just the fact that she continues to be an artist be a woman who performs and has a sexuality and um you know doesn't you know act like the the stereotypical woman of her age is supposed to that's enough to bother people trigger people and have people like this you know make videos and write articles and you know it's sort of the gift that keeps on giving her age is always going to lead her to be victimized and attacked and ageism is always going to be there that she's that you know she's going to react to that so it's kind of going to be interesting to see how like you know she goes on um and that but um yeah and the stupidest thing he tries to just do the most basic gaslighting stuff like he's like oh she's so decrepit she's like holding onto this rail and trying to dance and i'm like she's in the air like 20 or 30 feet up in the air moving around in this thing she has to hold on to the rail so she doesn't fall out you idiot i mean these sort of people you know they they depend on their audience being stupid and them and not doing their own investigation into anything or research and those people who aren't going to look at the video and go oh that's the ray of light video where she's in this box you know hanging above the audience moving around and she has to hold onto the rail so she doesn't fall out but he's like oh she's so old she can't even dance she has to hold onto the rail because she's i'm like it's just so stupid and it's just it's insulting to your intelligence to listen to people like this um so yeah um not much else to say other than this guy in my humble opinion is an absolute moron who has nothing going for him that he has to just play on these po these, these these political things and you know the the culture wars and all that just to cause trouble and get attention and make people angry and that's just what these people do to to make money and it's a grift and they've just got no substance and no integrity and there's just there's, 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 there's no merit to them at all there's no merit to this video, there's nothing interesting about it, there's no unique 
or stinging criticism that no one has sort of laid at Madonna's feet before or anything like that. It's just basic bitch ageism, sexism, homophobia, just your usual crap. You know, you know part of the people criticizing this tour is not just because of her aging, it's also because of the drag queens and the AIDS memorial and all this stuff. You know, it's just it's just so boring and basic and sad and just it's just pathetic. And the only interesting thing about um, this whole thing is one of the um, podcasts I listened to talking about this mentioned the rumor that apparently last week someone said Madonna was going to tour Australia. I'm like, okay, I hope she doesn't because frankly I can't go due to health concerns, so I don't want to miss out. So I'd rather she just not tour than her tour and me not be able to go. Sorry for everyone else, but I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think and don't listen to this basic boring guy. He's got nothing to say or to contribute to any sort of conversation. He's just an ageist.